Hey, hey guys, Diesel Does Fishing catching up with you here on another video. I found something that absolutely blew me away. I fished this spot just a couple of days ago for the first time ever, didn't catch anything. It's pretty normal for this YouTube channel, but I found, what? A pirate ship. Yeah, a pirate ship. I don't know what the hell this thing is doing out here. This pond is way too small to have a boat anywhere remotely this size, but it's absolutely crazy. I'm gonna show you that, and then we're gonna get to some fishing. Oh my God. What are we, what is this? There's a, a pirate ship on the side of this pond. Why the heck is this here? I mean, this thing is huge. It's gotta be. Okay, that can't be good. I mean, this thing's gotta be 20 feet long, at least. Why is this even here? I mean, there is a crab shack just up the street. It's possible that maybe it was a prop from the crab shack, but it's all the way back here. And it would be very clear who dumped it back here. I don't know. Jeez, what the heck even is this place? I mean, is this like, oh God, it's about to fall down this hill. Is this like a homeless person's shelter? I don't know what the heck it is I'm looking at. I'm trying to lift you up over. Just wow, wow, you never know what you're gonna see. <laughs> you go explore new fishing spots. Why is that even here? I don't know, so weird, but we came to this pond to catch fish. Let's go get a line in the water. We're gonna throw a red rattle trap because I know that's money this time of year. We've got uh, a crankbait tied on, black and blue. We're gonna throw that and try a couple of different things. There's even a creek right over here that we might throw on a little Ned rig and toss in there for a couple of minutes. And if nothing is biting here, going over to some other spots. Also in this video, we're gonna be testing out some brand new camera gear that I'm so stoked to finally get on. I've got a Tiffin polarizer that's gonna go over the lens. It's gonna cut down some of that glare, maybe make the video quality look a lot better. I've also got a mic that's gonna go on top of the GoPro. Hopefully there's not too much background noise. There is a major interstate right there, I-85, but this is just like the side of the road pond. I can't believe this is even back here. The wind isn't too bad yet, so we don't need to throw on that microphone. But let's go ahead and give this polarizer lens a try. This is without a polarizer lens. This is completely raw footage. This is what we're working with here. Tiffin adjustable sort of screw on lens that should maybe cut down on some of this glare off of this water. Let's go ahead and screw it on and see what it looks like. Now, obviously, I don't know what the video quality is doing right now because I can't really see, but maybe you guys are catching a major difference in just the glare off the water that you got before I put the lens on and now, after. We're gonna move over to another spot, a spot that I've seen bass already moving up, already starting to bed. We should be able to sight fish them over there. The water clarity is a lot better. Oh, thanks, man. What's your name? Quentin, nice to meet you. I, I would fist bump you, but man, we can't do it anymore. This is crazy, guys. I just walked up on Quentin, who's seen my videos, who's now in one of my videos, or he's gonna be, over here at this spot that we know has two pounders, three pounders. Went off of head, like, you did? Though. Off of what? Off, off, of the, off of that chatterbait? No, I'm using a booster tail. Okay. He was interested in it. He must have hit it like right on so maybe flash is the sauce today i'm gonna throw an underspin out here with a little paddle tail swim bait see if maybe you'll hit yeah they're, dude they're all over the place out here they're finally starting to push up oh yo this thing just darted from there to there after something that's crazy i gotta get in here the wind has picked up so we've thrown on this road microphone to kind of give us a little bit of protection from it god dang this thing looks so good coming through the water why have i not been throwing underspins for years so good. Over here just last week, there were some big old bass cruising up and down this bank that we're on. And man, I'm hoping we hook a big one today.
This paddle tail underspin combo has been the sauce out here the past couple of weeks. And they're finally starting to push up. I haven't really seen any on the bank yet, so they might have pushed back out. We had a lot of rain. We had some cold temperatures in the last 36 to 48 hours, so maybe they pushed back out just a little bit. Last time I was out here, they were pushing up, but they were not bedding yet. So uh, we're just trying to locate them, figure out where they're at. Kind of working this rig around this pond kind of also working the gopro video micro for the first time as well i'm feeling that this thing is heavy you know on top of a gopro which is a nice compact little shape that's probably something that i'm not going to use that much if the weather is calm but once it gets windy of course that's when you want to use this thing because otherwise the gopro microphone is pretty good also like it just bounces around a lot on your chesty so you got to get kind of get your chesty really tight i'm sure audio quality sounds fantastic right now and it's compared i don't know yet but compared to what it sounded like when i was over at the other pond you know when i was just talking into the gopro mic at the other pond how did that sound compared to this we'll have to find out in playback but uh you know it's just good to get out here and get a, a good field test on some new equipment as we're also trying to catch some fish we're just kind of pitching around this pipe right here just kind of going around it on both sides there's got to be somebody sitting on this thing settings wise for those of you who are interested in maybe picking up one of these setups for yourself uh, i've got the gopro on wide settings so as to not pick up the fuzz from the dead cat now if you uh, are seeing a little bit of that then that's something i definitely want to trim down to kind of get out of the shot i do have to sacrifice a little bit of field of view but it's not bad i mean wide versus super wide is not that big a deal but obviously you want to be on super wide when you're fishing so you catch the absolute maximum uh, footage it's just something you got to deal with a little bit with this with this microphone setup when it's not windy if you really want to use it you can take that dead cat off and not see that in your footage but otherwise uh, you can also trim it conditions wise again it's fairly windy and i'm looking pretty much straight into the wind are you listening